Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Robin here with Oracle Rising. Thanks for joining me today. So I wanted to do a series on um, sex and relationship advice. I used to write a column, again, in the zine called Cockroach that my friend Meg was the editor for. And um, she was doing this sex and relationship advice column and she sent out to everybody that contributed to her um, an email, who wants this column? And I'm like, I do, I do. <laughs> so I wrote a bunch of stuff and I think it's really important to really understand that, you know, sex is part of life. I mean, without sex, none of us would be sitting here, am I right? And just overall relationship advice and it really takes sort of a fun spin and put it into approaching you know, the intimate part of your life. And also I really, you know, kind of imagined that I was sort of a, a Northern Carrie Bradshaw and I really had the time of my life writing this column. So I really wanted to share that with you guys because it's something that I don't think that people talk about enough. And I think people talk about violence a lot, but not the beautiful side of our lives, right? So this one is called Hiding in the Bedroom. And this is from, um, the disguise issue. So um, I actually wanted to talk about how to spice up your love life. Um, maybe you wanna make that Saturday night just a little bit more special, but aren't sure how. Why not dial up the heat with a fab costume or go all out and don a racy disguise? A never fail, a never fail way to amp up the pheromones is to bring some shock value to the bedside table. Try stepping out in front of your partner in something fun like a schoolgirl school costume or a naughty nurse outfit. I have both. <laughs> oh yeah. So, or for a real adventure, ask your mate to meet you at a cozy lounge and show up wearing a wig, trench coat, and sky high heels. Guaranteed to get the blood pumping. Imagine the fun you can have playing grown up dress up with your adult playmate. Putting together an erotic ensemble can be as easy as using items from your closet. Go simple with some super short shorts, a skin tight tank and bare freshly pettied feet. Or for a more elaborate amour apparel, try web crawling or visiting a, a specialized local shop. Make up your face in a bolder, more dramatic way. Wearing a lace mask. Ooh. <laughs> or adding elbow length gloves to almost any outfit are sexy and unexpected finishing touches. I especially recommend the gloves as they are good in the touchy feely department as well as being super sultry. So half the fun is getting ready for the big reveal and anticipating the reaction your lust worthy disguise will have on that special someone. The other half is obviously the big reveal. So go forth and adorn yourself with sexy, slutty, come hither abandon. May the temperature rise in response to your vamped up disguise. So, I mean, people always say that thing, trying to keep things fresh and alive in a relationship, things can get a little bit boring. Um, and I guess that's true to a certain extent, but mixing it up just on a regular basis is so much fun. You know, just use your imagination and don't be uncomfortable. I, I see people that are really anxious about dressing up um, in elaborate like bedroom wear for some reason um, and really don't and I, I think people obsess about their size a little bit too much you know I couldn't wear that I'm too skinny I couldn't wear that I'm too fat or whatever but you know if somebody loves you they love you they love you right and I think people have less nerves about putting on like nothing like you know as they do putting on something really fun and I, I think just sort of fine-tuning that to feel excited about something rather than being nervous or anxious about it is a really big way of of tweaking and and sort of getting yourself into that mood and it can be just something as simple as wearing like if you're in a hetero relationship for instance I um, I dated a guy and he said he thought that there was nothing more sexy than a woman wearing um, a man's uh, white dress shirt and I was like really I mean that just seems so easy so like really go for what your partner finds to be like wild and sexy or whatever and work off of that um, 
you know, for me, I, I personally love a good costume. I just think they're so much fun. And there's a picture of me here, and this was quite a few years ago, but I mean, I wore this out to a Halloween party. But I mean, it's a schoolgirl costume, and I had the great big um, like schoolgirl girl shoes on, and I had my hair in pigtails, and I had the time of my life. And you know, in addition to this, like I think this was like I was on a, a second date with somebody, and it was really fun. We went to a Halloween party, and then there was a live band, and they actually um, picked me to come up on stage and dance with the band. And I was like, well, this is wild. And it was all because I went and I bought this $20 costume, um, to go out for Halloween. And then like my date ended up pretty good or whatever, but, um, it was just really fun, like doing my makeup differently and putting on this fun costume and, you know, just one thing leads to another guys. And you find that your confidence can really shift for you too. Like when you're putting something on, especially if you're gonna go with like some sort of not a hairy theme, you know, or you're meeting your partner um, in a public place and you do the trench coat thing and maybe dye your hair a different color and pretend you don't know each other, like really do something spicy and intriguing. And um, it can really keep your connection going really solidly. And it's so much fun, like it's so much fun. So guys, let me know in the comments what you do to keep you know your love life spicy and alive and if you've had a really successful costume let me know um because i'm all about the costumes and having fun so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for tuning in take care bye